Nice. So let me proceed with this. Now having discussed the harmony at the level of self, you can go further to understand the harmony of self with the body. So this you could see that self is the conscious entity, body is the material entity. Now going further we can see that the needs of the self are continuous, the activities are continuous. While if you look at the body, the body requires physical facility and they are all temporary. You can go to see further that I am the self with the body. I am exchanging information with the body but I am not the body. My goal is to ensure right understanding and right feeling. So the body is my instrument. So I can see very much that the body is my instrument and the self is central to human existence. It is ultimately the self which we have to develop, not the body. The right understanding has to be ensured in the self. Now once I am able to see this, my whole program has a different focus now in my life. While earlier I was focusing myself on physical facility or body, now the focus is on myself. The physical facility is an instrument for the body, the body is my instrument. The whole thing has got reversed. Earlier I was exploiting myself for the body and exploiting the body for physical facility. Now I am able to see that I am at the focus. So the physical facility is there for the body as an instrument, as a tool and the body is my instrument and essentially I have to develop. This is being central to the human existence. So the whole focus gets shifted once I am able to see it clearly. Now when I am able to see this clearly, I naturally become responsible toward the body. And, uh, responsible for what? For three purposes, for nurturing the body, protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body. And a natural outcome of this is that there is health in the body. So if I nurture the body rightly, I protect the body rightly and utilize the body rightly, there is health in the body. And health essentially means two things. One is this instrument works according to me. I am saying that yes, go to the department, the body is able to walk. I am saying that get up, the body is able to get up. But if that is not the case, my knees are gone, you know, the lower back has a pain, my kidney is not functioning properly, I am not able to work. So the instrument is not working as an instrument. My health is not good. And that also means that there is harmony among the parts of the body. My lungs, my kidney, my liver, my intestine, my brain, all are working properly. Isn't it? So when I am responsible to the body, it is called as self-regulation. I am naturally able to see the body as an instrument, I am responsible to the body. And a natural outcome of the same is health. So what do you see? What is more basic? What is more uh, uh, carrying a higher priority? Self-regulation or health? What is more prior here? Self-regulation. If I have the feeling of self-regulation, it will naturally ensure health. But if I do not have self-regulation, a healthy body can get spoiled. So physical facilities require to fulfill the responsibility of the self toward the body, to keep the body in good health, for these three purposes. Now I am able to see that there are only three purposes, that, I'll, that we'll try to explore further. Could be there a fourth purpose also of the physical facility. So I can see that for nurturing the body I require food or something like food, like food, water, you know, whatever I take for nurturing the body. For protecting the body I require clothes, shelter and for utilizing the body rightly I require instruments. For example mobile is an instrument and you know, if I have to communicate to somebody sitting at Delhi then I can utilize that mobile. If I have to go to Delhi every time to communicate you know, that is not the right utilization of the body. If you have to come to office from 35 kilometers away, then use a car or use a bus or use a metro, whatever. So that is an instrument that is helping you utilize the body rightly. If I have to talk to you and I am using this mic, I can reach you better. So this is an instrument helping me utilize the rightly. We do breakfast in the morning, that is for nurturing the body. We take water, you know, that is for nurturing the body. Similarly, clothes. We are taking, in summer we are taking summer clothes, in winter we are taking winter clothes. Shelter is there. So I mean I am able to see that there are only three purposes. So if I have to make out whether I require the particular physical facility or not, I will look into the purpose. 
what is it for? Is it for nurturing the body, protecting the body, rightly utilizing the body or something else? If it is something else, maybe I do not need it. So one task from here is that when you go home today, yesterday you have to count your clothes, today you have to count all the instruments, all the commodity in the house and see for what purpose it is. Is it for nurturing the body, protecting the body, right to lie in the body or nothing, none of these. So that much articulation can be done. Right? The food that I am taking, is it really nurturing the body? The clothes that I am wearing, is it really protecting the body? The shelter that I have, is it really protecting the body? If I am sitting in air conditioned room all the time, maybe it is not protecting the body. Isn't it? Now, maybe the clothes that I am putting on, it is not protecting the body properly. Similarly, the instruments, how much I require. If I look at this need for physical facility with so much of preciseness, I can articulate clearly how much physical facility I require. And then money is only a mode of exchange. I actually do not require money, I require physical facility and it has a particular purpose. With that clarity, I can articulate the need for money. If I have this clarity, then only I can assess whether I have enough or not. So there are two natural outcomes. Yeah. So this is something that the quantity of food is required in limited quantity. Clothes and shelter are required in limited quantity that we can make out. For protecting the body, how many clothes will I require? Will I require thousands of clothes? Will I require thousands of houses? Or will I require tons of food? No, not at all. Similarly, the instruments and the equipment, will I require n number of cars? No. n number of gadgets? No. So we can see that all of these are required in limited quantity. Is that true? So physical facility is required for three purposes. This is something that we can investigate. And for every purpose, there is a limitation. I don't require more than that. If it is less than that, it is a problem. It is much more than that, this is again a problem. Maybe you go to some friend's house and he you know, gives something to eat and just keeps on serving that you have to eat. After some time, you will see that the food becomes intolerable. You cannot consume more than a limit. If I am feeling cold, I can take one sweater or one jacket. But if I have to take multiple jackets on my body, <laughs> it will become a problem. If I cannot take multiple jackets, multiple clothes and body, then why should I even store in my house if that is not required? Maybe to fulfill the need for respect, maybe to fulfill the need for relationship. But I can see that the need for relationship is not going to be fulfilled by these things. That is going to be fulfilled by my right feeling, right understanding. You just see how many children would honor or respect their parents for the wealth that they have. Or they respect the parents for the right understanding and right feeling that they share. So physical facility is required to keep the body in good health so that right utilization of the body can be ensured. That is physical facility required only for nurturing the body, protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body. If you can see that, then... How many children are there? What are the natural symptoms on that? Yeah, in fact, there also, let me say, if you look at it proactively, before marrying, I have to evaluate myself whether I am competent to fulfill that relationship with right feeling and right understanding. While going for procreation, I can be able to see that whether I am able to instill the right understanding, right feeling in the next generation or not, and to what extent. Even I can see how much physical facility will be required. And there is such a big population, and everybody is my family member. <laughs> no. <laughs> so with that extended vision, we can look at the family, look at the society. Now, with this clarity of requirement for need for physical facility, 
One outcome is health, the other outcome is the feeling of prosperity. I can be more clear now for the feeling of prosperity. So I can see that prosperity is the feeling of having or producing more than required physical facility. And here this assessment of the need for physical facility is at a higher priority. And having or producing is the next one. So with right understanding, I am able to identify the requirement for physical facility, including the required quantity. And I am able to ensure the availability of production of more than required with right skills. Sir, what clarification? The physical facility is required for uh, keeping the health in good condition. Pardon? Physical facility. Yeah. Sir. The physical facility is required for keeping the health in good condition. Okay. I think the physical facility only is going to make the health in the bad condition because of using the car, two-wheeler, etc. These are all physical facility only. Uh, that yeah, is going so to make the health in bad condition, not in good condition. So that's how you have to identify the need, the limited quantity of the facility. For example, you are using mic. This is also a facility. If yes. you have to speak louder, maybe the sore throat will yes. be there. So that is a facility that we are utilizing. But whether I am utilizing it for asking a genuine question or utilizing for making noise, for example. That is something to be decided. So the car is there. But whether it is spoiling my health because I am in the car all the time or I am using the car only when needed. Now present world, I think uh, yeah. we are always taking the car. There is no other way. No, other ways are there. We are not able to see it. <laughs> in fact, let me tell you, in the Scandinavian countries, if you see, like Netherlands, Iceland, you can see videos there, the whole society is moving on cycles. 50 kilometers they are able to cycle, having two kids in the basket. Holland, Netherlands, yeah. In our country, we have made it a status symbol to own a car. Yeah. Sir, maybe there the food habits uh, and that uh, environment, it uh, gene, uh, the, what see, I cannot run uh, like uh, Ben Johnson for 9.85 seconds, uh, that is 100 meter dash. You don't have to run at no. that speed, no, but no, no. <laughs> just two generations back, you can see how much walking was there in the society. That's true. People sir. generally used to walk, they used to cycle. Just maybe the environment and other aspects Pardon? place role. Safety also, sir. <laughs> In fact, we have made the whole thing non conducive otherwise there are separate tracks or cycles. We can have the society which is pollution free. Yeah, we could have the uh, environment which is pollution free. See, the present uh, safety is a very big concern. Okay, see, for example, I can tell you, when I was doing my master's, I was staying at Crompert, a place, I was doing my master's at Anna, Anna University, which is around 15 kilometers. Uh, people may not be aware, I used to go by cycle from Crompert to Anna University, weekly, thrice in one direction, weekly, thrice in another direction. Like today, yeah, yeah. Uh, by cycle, then uh, evening, if I, it's not possible, I'll travel by bus. The next day, I'll come back like that. So I, at that time, I was uh, doing a um, visiting professor uh, role also with the, one of the institutions. Practically every day, every attempt I used to go by cycle. Today, where is the safety? I, I used to walk a lot. From Crompet to university, I have walked 19 kilometers. A single stretch, but where is safety now? Every day, my target is 15,000 to 20,000 steps. Already today, early morning, I have completed uh, 10,000 steps, early morning walk. But even for that, we are worried about safety. Yeah, so even safety. morning walk, there is no proper, uh, I mean, playgrounds or parks or something like that. Everything is utilized. Yeah. Okay. So I'm saying that while utilizing the body rightly, I also have to protect my body. So I will see whether safety is ensured or not. If safety is ensured, I will do, do, uh, I will do use it. I will do go for Today, car is also not safe. Pardon? Today, car is also not safe. Yeah. So that is owing to lack of right understanding in the people. Why are people rushing? You just see people are rushing on the road. 
and then just ask them how many minutes you saved. Let's say five minutes. What did you do out of those five minutes? So we are rushing on the road, coming home or coming to the office and wasting time here. In place of that, we can be moving you know, uh, little patiently on the road and allowing others also to go safely. So it is ultimately owing to the lack of right understanding the people. So at a personal level, I will develop understanding myself and through education, we can educate the society also. You can see here also, if the students are rushing on bikes on the road, certainly this kind of input is required for them, isn't it? So this is something that we are sharing yesterday, isn't it? So when I am feeling prosperous, I think of right utilization, I think of nurturing the other. When I feel deprived, I think of accumulation, I feel like exploiting the other. Do we have to have break now? So now we can understand health. The body acts according to the self. And the parts of the body are in harmony. There also you can see that if I am able to see that the body is my instrument. The body is my instrument. Anna? Then I will evaluate whether my body is acting according to me or not. Isn't it? It is being found that by using commode in most of the houses, the knees are getting weaker. Earlier the sitting that used to be there on the Indian seats, that strengthened your knees. When we mop the floor by ourselves, our knees used to bend as well as twist. We are not mopping the floor ourselves. Our knees and thighs are getting weaker. So many things are to be observed. Similarly, by you know, using that atta chakki kind of thing, our this thing abdomen was stronger. So we have to see ultimately by using the physical facilities, you know, whether our body is getting healthier or weaker. Even our uh, Indian classet also now we are using this uh, Western type. So definitely this Indian type nowadays is gone, and uh, we find very difficult even if we call it as an Indian uh, classic, sitting and uh, for uh, some time and standing, uh, it is very difficult even uh, for people like us at this age. So, so I used to see my mother, who was more than 80, uh, she used to comfortably sit and uh, come. But now, <laughs> at this age, I am finding it difficult. So definitely, as you say, I agree that physical facility should be a part of our system. It will uh, improve or uh, keep our health fit. Yeah. We are missing. We are missing some of this important. Uh, and see, on one hand we are earning, on the other hand we are making making our body unhealthier, and then we have to save a lot for health in the old age. This has become major source of fear that in the old age when I go for treatment, how much will it cost? It is being said that in US a significant share of your saving gets used in the hospitals in the old days. So, working for physical facility, we spoil the body, then the body gets spoiled, you go to the hospital, the hospital taxes you, and most of the things that you have saved get spent there. Sir, uh, we had a small uh, brainstorming on, uh, brainstorming on uh, our uh, HODK aerospace proposal. He was talking about his mom comfortably uh, using the Indian closet. We had a small discussion and concluded that uh, they were busy finding three acres for him and he was busy selling three acres and making more money. That's why he lost that strength. The physical facilities make him uh, unhappiness. <laughs> Sir, uh, no, no, sir. Believe me, uh, three months it took for me to go to the Tassildar office uh, to beg that my father wrote in the document, property document, my name is Ganesh. There are nobody names for me. You believe it or not. Department, they call me LRGS. And sometimes uh, my friends call me GS. If you go home, they call me Ganesh. And uh, see, Ganapati uh, Subramaniam, see, my name is LR Ganapati Subramaniam. What is L? L stands for Lalgudi. That is the place uh, I was born. Then L R, my father's name. So L R Ramachandra L 
Laludi Ramachandra and Ganapati Subramaniam. So nobody calls me as Ganapati Subramaniam. Uh, GS, R. L. G. S. R. Ganesh. Like that, so many names are there. Somebody, fortunately, my father has written and the document as Ganesh. So my Aadhaar card, now Pan card, my all other documents can be said, LR Ganapati Subramaniam. So how to sell this uh, property? <laughs> so, so he took a lot of uh, uh, Gazette office. I say I had to go to the Gazette office. Gazette office is saying that, that's you, what we spoke, sir. You are very tired and busy. <laughs> that's why you are not able to. Iruvaram oruvare. Our Sandra the man down, sir. Been dying. Iruvaram oruvare. Thank you, sir. Sir, for that you should have made Tassel the happy. <laughs> no, no, I say two times when I went there, first time Tassel there, somehow I convinced him and accepted. By the time uh, he was transferred, and another Tassel there came. So again, I have to repeat this process to him. So somehow he got it at the complete synergy with each other. Body is a material unit, has a definite conduct, has definite recognition and fulfillment. It is naturally in harmony with the rest of nature the trees, the plants, the soil, the water. So body in itself is in harmony. It is our role to keep it in harmony. So I only have to ensure the harmony in the body that it is sustained. For the food that we eat, is it meant for ensuring harmony in the body or creating disharmony? If I have the feeling of responsibility toward the body, then I will do what is required for fulfilling that responsibility so that the health of the body is ensured. Isn't it? So body in itself is a self-organized unit, a harmonious unit. Every part is working in synergy, in harmony with the other parts of the body. Only that I have to understand it and fulfill it. So what is conducive for the health of the intestine, for the lungs, the kidneys? Nowadays it is also being said that most of the problems, the diseases are psychosomatic. If I am anxious within, if I am tense within, if I am not in harmony within, unhappy within, then my body is going to suffer, isn't it? You can see so many heart attacks now taking place. Earlier it was rarely to be observed. Right? So many kinds of transplants and uh, medical issues cropping up. It was earlier not to be heard of. Why is that happening? Maybe because you know, the unhappiness is there and the most of the problems are psychosomatic. Why so many cases of diabetes or blood pressure or you know, so many things coming up? Yeah, so yeah, life expectancy, longevity is going up, but that is largely owing to the medical facilities, not by the feeling of self-regulation. Actually, the harmony on the body is very easy to understand because of the protection, you can see that actually. Harmony with the self is the challenge actually. Yeah. And we would like to see that more than just this is this everybody knows about this generally. So harmony in self is the real challenge actually. Yeah, that's what I said. When the, with the feeling of self-regulation and that self-regulation is going to be there in the self only. Pardon? The self-regulation that I was mentioning, it is going to be there in the self only. But how do you regulate it? What is required what is required? Yeah. What to do with that? It's all yeah, this is no, no, that's call. body. Yeah. Food, clothes are all body. I'm talking about self. You see, we've self got two body. things, right? We've got body and we've got a self. Harmony with the body is very clear. Because why? You touch, feel and everything. So it's very clear. It's easy to understand. Harmony with the self is what the challenge you will have. Yeah. So that's How do you get the harmony with the self? So that is what I discussed yesterday and even recap today. So harmony with the self essentially means the complete imagination guided by right understanding, right feeling. So that is the challenge, yeah. But the challenge only is within. I am myself conditioning myself without verifying and assuming certain things. I start verifying. I am trying to depend on sensation for happiness. That is my own conditioning. And I can come out of it. So the problem is inside, the solution is inside. I don't have to depend even on my body, even on my body for that solution or anybody else. The solution is there in me. I only have to refer to my natural acceptance and I get resolved. So you'll see that... Natural acceptance is to have tasty food. You no. see, for example, if you have got body, right? Body has got all the parts in it, right? Your tongue. Your tongue is always in disharmony with the body, right? Because you can't eat good food. You can't use tasty food. 
No, in fact, we can investigate this. So just ask yourself. This is a very pertinent question. Why? For example, why do I take food? <laughs> Answer is right, but the question is, is not complete harmony. No, no. I am asking simply, why do I take food? For for nurturing the body. Yeah. So if the taste is there and it is spoiling the body, will I go for taste or not? Fine, you don't go for that. But you're, you're, I'm saying that you're, all bodies, all the parts of the body is not in harmony. Agree with you, Dharma. That's it's it. Then the, you can say whatever you want. It's not the question I of agree tongue. with you. The tongue is not in harmony with the stomach. No, no, no. That <laughs> is the not body. the case. That is not the case. The tongue is in harmony with the rest of the body. But I am trying to derive something from the taste. Because I am not happy within. So I'm trying to derive happiness, momentary happiness from the taste of the food. You just see, you see your state of imagination before you take the test, while taking the test, after the test, and see what is happening in you. We become restless if I do not have the test. Why I'm getting restless? Because I'm not at rest within. If I'm at rest within, I'll choose the right food. The sensation is individual sensation. Yeah. The tongue is in harmony with the body. The sensation. Not even sensation. See, see, see. The sensation is also in harmony with the body. The problem is that I am associating happiness to that sensation. Sir, you you all agree with me? Morning we get up from the bed. Do you, I think most of without taking coffee. I think uh, most of you will become unhappy. So, <laughs> see, test is there. It also instigates uh, our uh, this thing, energy, and other aspects. So definitely, yeah, I uh, I believe most of us sitting here, without having a coffee, uh, they will become unhappy. And also newspaper. Second item is if the newspaper is not there, and most of us having a habit of reading the newspaper, even if it is coming late. And then they'll call, and then why oh, it is coming late? What is the problem like that? So these two things are definitely, I would in say, fact, taste is there, and also happiness is also yeah, getting to our system uh, by knowing. No, let, us, let us explore this. In fact, yes, we can sir. take it as a case study and explore this. See, yes, when you are taking coffee, it is not only coffee that is coming to your body. The uh, sweetener is there, milk is there, water is there. So it may be the case that. I require energy for the body. So there are certain things which are nurturing the body, certain things which are harming the body. Isn't it? So I have to look into it very closely. Why do I go for coffee at all? So certain thing would be there which is giving me taste. Right? Only taste. But something is there which is giving me you know, nurturing also, nurturing the body also. So I have to segregate this. Maybe you can keep that which is nurturing the body and replace that with something else which is harming the body. Yes. Correct. There are many who do not take. In fact, in here maybe we are taking coffee. In the north we are taking tea. In some places we are taking something else. <coughs> Isn't it? So we have to look into what actually is being obtained from the uh, coffee or tea or something. Yeah. Now when it comes to newspaper, there also we can investigate. So one source of imagination for the newspaper could be that I have to look into the, all that is happening in the world around me. And I am inquisitive, I am curious about what is happening. The other thing could also be that I feel related, for example. But is this the way to fulfill the relationship? Just looking into the problem and putting it on the side? If I am able to see that there is war taking place in Israel and Philistine, what can I do so that war is no longer there on the planet? Am I able to look to that extent or not? Or only that how many people died in Philistine, how many people died in Israel and Lebanon, is that my only concern? So again, looking at the newspaper, I can have different purposes. One purpose could be just to acquire information. The other purpose could be to fulfill the relationship. We are able to see that yes, so much of destructive weapons are being made. And their own children, we are educating them. They are making those weapons. They are making money out of it. So is it not my responsibility to transform the education so that these things don't happen? So we can look to that extent also as a responsible you know, part of the society. So the same thing, we have to look into the purpose. What is the purpose? Yeah. So many times we are aware of this, this is for body, this is for soul, and this is for food. For example, coffee. We are all aware 
and I myself have been trying a lot to fix sugar beet. And I know the substitute is uh, jaggery. So I know the substitute of sugar is jaggery, and it is there. But and I am aware of this that this is only for body and this is blah 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 blah. But the practical thing is that we still we are not able to follow what we want to follow. Why? Don't Ask. know. And I have and I have this. Uh, whenever I and my observation is when I pay deliberate attempt. What is addiction? Then let us look into this. What is addiction? And and when there is. I am somehow associating happiness to that taste. So that is my there, selection. And when there is a deliberate attempt from my side, I have decided many times that I will not take a sugar, anything which is made of sugar or coffee. Then that particular day, I have ensured that I take just double than what I take in when I don't uh, commit to myself. When I don't commit, it is limited. So sometimes not even paying attention to what you want to quit and not to quit, that also helps. But even if the problem is you are aware, but you are not able to really do. So I'm saying this is not the solution, not to be aware. The solution is that you decided only not to have tea. If you do not have tea, then what do you have? That you also have, yeah, that will look into. Because it was nurturing your body partly. That nurturing is gone, for example, when we are working for two to three hours at a stretch, the sucrose level comes down in the body. The secretion in the brain also goes down. So you have to take something so that it is retained. So that particular substitute has to be looked into. If I'm not working for that, you know, then that becomes a problem. <laughs> yeah. They are talking about this tea thing. Now I have a bit of eating this poga. I started with the raw rice. Whenever I get tension, I cannot scold somebody else. I will start eating this only. Okay? So this happened... Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> see, see, see. This happened uh, for past eight years. There was a habit. Uh, raw rice eating. And slowly all my teeth are gone. So I started eating poga. So at least a little, little bit. But now I want to leave it. Now I don't have an angry issue also. But still this, this is in touch. That sensation is there to eat. I don't know how to stop it. Even in our UHV discussions, I asked it multiple times. They said to do some breathing exercise, holistic health time, I asked. But still, this is... So why are you taking it, I'm asking? <laughs> See, mind is asking me to... Uh... Yeah, why is it asking? No, 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 let us, let us look into this. Why is it asking? So maybe I'm not resolved within, I'm not in harmony within. Yeah. So to come out of that, it is a kind of escape route for me. When I take this, I am able to come out of that situation. No, I am not. I am not. I, I am aware I am not. But still, whenever I see this, if it is not there for two hours, immediately I want to find it and go have it. <laughs> so find no, it out. I see, that's why I am saying that each one of us has to conduct research upon oneself. <laughs> so as we do in research also, no, take various options. Experiment, ah, validate, same way I have sir. to try for myself. <laughs> sir, uh, actually I have seen uh, this happen happening in my brother's marriage. So during my brother's marriage, some around 40 years before, uh, that day we had a reception. That is a reception in this marplay depot we used to have a, a car. So this car, it will be made a uh, decoration, Annapakshi decoration something. Uh, so the, uh, uh, my brother used to sit there and go, for a certain distance to the temple and come. Unfortunately, all decorations were made, but it was raining very heavily. So, <laughs> the whole arrangement, whatever, uh, so uh, they, they uh, made, uh, they couldn't do it uh, because the uh, vehicle was very beautiful, uh, all decorations were very beautiful, but unfortunately, they could not go to that place, uh, temple, and then come back. And it was raining up to 9 or 9.30, and uh, everything happened uh, internally, they finished this. Then they asked, uh, did you eat uh, raw rice or something? So, uh, that is why I just uh, remember, uh, the madam, somebody told uh, she is eating raw rice, that's why it is raining. I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think whenever she is eating rice, it is uh, raining, sir. In uh, Saram also. Hmm? <laughs> 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 it is not raining <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway, that is a maybe that is an assumption. We have to verify it. <laughs> 
Yeah. So if you make an appraisal, if you make an appraisal of the current state, you may see that you are selecting food maybe for show off to get attention of others. People will go to hotels and order some food and then get a selfie and then post it on Facebook. Restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it may be the case of show off. It may be for only taste, but I can also select the food for nurturing the body, for nourishment. So if it is for nourishment, it is coming from natural acceptance. If it is a show off, it is a preconditioning. If it is merely for taste without nurturing the body, then it is coming from sensation. So that way I have to analyze each and everything that comes to me. Yeah, I'll talk about, you know, now we are having tea break, so let us find it out whether we are going to have it for... <laughs> Sir, it is observed that some assignments have uh, been not submitted, so please submit it at least uh, before uh, lunch, uh, after lunch. Yes. <laughs> Because uh, your certificate criteria also depends on the assignment submitted. So we need to have a backup. I found that some 10 to 12 assignments are incomplete. So please submit it. Uh, not submitted, not submitted. <laughs> I have not received that sheet. <laughs> you can check. We are not here for certificate. Yes, that's right. So please submit it uh, uh, before, after lunch. One o'clock? Okay. Thank you, thank you. Over to Baya. That is just one way to convey to the university or the college that yes, now you are in a position to take the content forward to the students. That, that certification. That is getting assets. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we are making an appraisal of the current state. And we can see that while making selection for physical facility, it might be coming from various sources. So for example, if I'm selecting food for health, for nurturing the body, it is acceptable to me naturally. But if I'm going for food for show off, to catch attention of others, then it is coming from preconditioning. And if I'm trying to derive happiness out of taste, then it is based on sensation, isn't it? So this way I can articulate all the physical facilities that I have and try to see what is the source of having it, what is the source of basically consuming it, isn't it? Why should I go for it? Do you need to completely eliminate the preconditioning in that case? Because I always thought you need all the three. But now what I'm seeing closely right now is you don't need the red at all. Completely can get yes. away from that. Yes. And you need a little bit black, but mostly No yellow. black also. No black also? Yeah. Then I think that I got to go and do prayers only. Go to the temple and do prayers continuously. <laughs> so let the complete imagination. Yeah. Can Take a mic. Yeah, possible. Okay, is there a possibility that your preconditioning will be in aligned with your natural acceptance? Yeah. So it could be the case that I have assumed something which is also in line with my natural acceptance, but I have not verified. For example, I may assume that I am not the body. Right? But I have also not come to see what I am. So that assumption is okay. But since I have not verified, it is not a part of my right understanding. That could be there. Yeah. Now, with this clarity, I can make the right program for health. So there are four components of the program. The first one is intake and routine. So if you look at the first three programs, they are for staying healthy. The body is a self-organized unit. It is already in harmony. I have to sustain that harmony. So the first thing is the right intake and the routine. Intake means whatever I take for food, for nurturing the body. Right? So what I consume, what I put inside the body. You know? 
what I put inside the body, how much I put inside the body, how I put inside the body, isn't it? So it is generally said that in, if you look at the naturopathy, there is a formula called Papo Ni. It has to be nutritious to the body, nurturing the body, isn't it? It has to be digestible to the body. It also has to be excretable from the body. If I am consuming something which is not getting excreted properly, it will create you know, unnecessary things in the body and that will destroy the health. So what I am taking as intake is very much important. So, so the love can be Or it can be a yellow, but you prefer the yellow, yellow one. Pardon? Take the mic. Love. Love. Love is a very, very emotional feeling. So, in the, in the real world, what you are saying is, love towards relationships and everything should be a natural acceptance will be in the thing. But love for sensation is, is, is a black thing, right? We have to understand the meaning of love also. I'll come to that when we talk about human-human relationship. So when we say love for food or sensation, it is not actually love. It is some kind of inclination towards sensation only. Some kind of you know, my conditioning to derive happiness out of it. It is not love for food or love for music. It is not love actually. It is my kind of inclination towards a particular sensation. That is something that we can again investigate. So the right intake. You know, and in the routine, the way I you know, give rest to the body, the way I work with the body, my daily routine, that has to be taken care of properly. So when do I sleep, when do I wake up, how do I maintain my body? And then the labor. Actually, if you see, the labor is going down. Maybe we are trying to have good intake and good routine, but we are not doing something in terms of labor, the physical labor that is going down day by day. And that's why many of the new kinds of problems are coming up. Our bones, our joints, our ligaments are getting weaker and weaker. If that is not there, then I can compensate it with exercise. I can do some exercises. In addition to that, I can regulate my internal external body organs through postures and regulated breathing like asana and pranayam that we can do. We can do you know, some postures for regulating the parts of the body. I can also regulate the breathing of the body. So these three programs are there for staying healthy. <coughs> if that is not fulfilling, then maybe there is some situation in which my body becomes unhealthy, there is disharmony in the body. So to restore it, I can go for medicine. Right, I can go for medicine. There also I can see how I can take the medicine in such a way that it ensures harmony without any side effects. Isn't it? So it is also said that the spices that we have in the kitchen also works as a medicine. So the right kind of medicine, and maybe by using earth, soil, earth, water, air also, we are able to cure the body. So those means also have to be looked into. In the worst case, when all these don't work, then I can go for surgery and treatment and you know, transplant, but that is the last resort. If I go from here, Sir, right, there is a, it will really be required. There is a proverb in Tamil, Unave Marandu. See, what we eat is, food itself is medicine. So that is available naturally. Yes. So if uh, that has been followed, definitely the other items will not fall in place. <laughs> so if it, in fact, this intake is very important. For example, if you see, there are certain occasions in the year when you go without food, the body cures itself. Like the, this Navratri is going on, you know. So if you, yeah, if you starve the body for some time, then the body cures itself. It is also said, in fact, one Nobel Prize was also given for this, that if you keep the medium of the body alkaline, you can never get some serious disease like cancer or something. Now if I am consuming acidic food all the time, Right? The intake is wrong. And then such kinds of diseases can be seen. Otherwise, I can keep the medium of the body alkaline. I can take probiotic food. So many things are there. We can collect so much of information there. For the right intake in the right way. For example, I am taking something, but I am feeling well or not. Right? And what I am eating, is it getting treated completely or not? It is being said that most of the diseases are caused by the intake of the problems that we see today are to do with gastrointestinal problems because the excretion is not proper. And it is said that 
250 kinds of diseases are there which is because of constipation and most of the people are suffering from constipation either the daily routine is not proper or the intake is not proper we might be consuming much more than what i require or at the wrong time in the wrong manner so those things have to be looked into and this labor also how i can add to the labor can i walk daily can i cycle can i do my household chores by myself or i always say alexa switch on the tv <laughs> and then i sit in the chair and <laughs> consume some junk food <laughs> is that the case so that labor is also going down you know so i have to make the right program for staying healthy and if i don't do this then so much of fear if you see people have a lot of fear of diseases and how much they will have to spend in the old days presently if you see in the families there is so much of accumulation taking place and there are five to six major reasons for accumulation one major reason for which we feel that they, we have to earn a lot is education of children and the child, education has become so costly day by day and in the name of education only skill development is taking place so the education has become so costly that is one major reason for you know a large source of income that we are looking for the second thing is to own a house of one's own right it may be the case that our parents have a house and there is nobody to live with them and we are trying to own a house of our own isn't it and spending 25 to 30 years paying emi there there is a house but nobody to live in here we are living and we have don't have a house so can we make the right program it could be the case this is the second you know source of accumulation reason for accumulation the third is child's marriage if i have to marriage a son or daughter how much will it cost now in the name of show off is spending so much leave aside the marriage nowadays the birthday celebrations have become so costly people are spending lakhs of rupees on a birthday celebration the first birthday of the child is costing not less than 1 lakh rupees in the cities because you have to you know go and book some restaurant or hotel you know and then do so much of thing and if you have to do it every year you can see how much we are spending similarly for marriage and one also has to do some statistical study you just look into the cost of the marriage the marriage ceremony and the life of the uh, life of the marriage <laughs> it may be the case that costly the marriages are the lesser is the life of the marriage <laughs> so essentially we want our children to live together happily it is not going to be decided by the cost of the celebration isn't it so that is the third major you know reason for accumulation the fourth is the treatment in the old days how much will it cost it may cost crores even nowadays if you see the hospitals have become like five star hotels the charge for one room for a single day is not less than 10000 rupees isn't it so how much will you save for that and finally people have started accepting that in the long in the old days our children are not going to take care of us so i have to save for myself put it all together it is crores of rupees that one family has to save sir uh, probably the, for this you can uh, buy economic times see we have uh, there is a uh, supplement which uh, comes on monday monday it is called wealth so if i am just i am reading it for the past 4 5 years so there as you say how to plan how to plan for retirement uh, what should be my corpus or what should be my uh, amount which i require in 60 years or 70 years all those uh, informations are available so probably i don't know how many uh, no no i am not uh, suggesting no. i am saying <laughs> <laughs> i am not suggesting for you i am saying this is what is happening i am making a puzzle <laughs> no, no sir probably if we all start reading that uh, it will give us some idea about projecting after yes i eat yes i don't that will give you wrong Actually. preconditioning uh, so a lot of case studies uh, i am able to read uh, there so uh, where a uh, lot of uh, question and answer sessions are also available i think these will help us uh, to plan to certain extent not fully maybe not 100% maybe at least 50% of it uh, will be able this to this is not what i am proposing <laughs> actually you know you remember that the the movie you had that there is a role for the government to play in this one 
So I think that probably the suggestion is the government hospitals should be really good to really support. In that way, we don't accumulate wealth and unnecessarily for the retirement age. See, for whenever it comes to the government, no, let us be clear that we select the government. We elect the government. Agreed, agreed. No, no, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying See, that. See, people have right understanding. They will elect the right government. You select the right people. Yeah. Yeah. In the government and hospitals, also, follow it is only human beings who are working. And why are people falling sick so much? That is also to be looked into. In the government hospital, you go, there is so much of rush. Why somebody is consuming gutkha, somebody is consuming liquor, you know, consuming so much of variety of food which is not digestible to the body, and that's why people are falling sick. Why people are falling sick in this much quantity also? This is also to be looked into. Why are we falling so much sick? Why are we having so many complaints of health? Because we are not living with self-regulation. So Otherwise, you... body being a self-organized unit, it's generally healthy. So if you look at the northern European economy, like for example, Sweden, Switzerland and all those things, they are healthy. Why? Because uh, they don't have to worry about uh, anything else. They work for only seven, seven and a half hours, which is really good. They go by cycle. For them, if they don't have a job for three months, six months, one year, it, the, 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 the government pays for it. The third thing is they also get the free education for the kids and also when they retire, they get the retirement benefits. So there's no need for accumulation. So if you think very logically, no, we have it, to makes sense. it makes sense to have the right people, to have the right, the right elected government to really do that. It's about 60% no, 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 taxes no, no. over there, but it's okay. It, looks, it sounds very right to me actually right now when you think deep down. We have to look into those countries also properly. Yeah. That cannot happen in India with such a high thickly populated country. That's it, one thing. That's not true. Also, you have to look into the data that we get from those countries. Like the divorce rate in Netherlands is 53 point something percent. Correct. So the family is no longer there. No relationship. Well, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that zero, but I'm saying this is the state of the family there. So are we happy living that way? There's so much of consumption of liquor and drugs there. You can read on Wikipedia also. No, no, you, you, so, don't, take, you don't take everything from there and make it. When I give an example, <laughs> you can't say that exactly. You do everything like the way they do. No, you can't think like that. These songs are very important for us to learn from them, not the family way of this. So you can yeah. ignore the family way of yeah, living. Yeah. So I am saying when we make an appraisal of those countries also, we have to make a complete appraisal. We cannot do partly. Yeah. You learn partly from the whole world. You cannot learn the whole thing from everybody to everybody. Yeah, but the I whole may... way of learning itself is partly. Take the good from everything, right? You yeah, can't but... repeat everything the same way. That if, if you are good, I take everything from you. No, not at all. You may have some bad things in you No, too. what I am trying to say, that when I am making an evaluation, I will look at the things which are good, also the things which are not so good. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And then otherwise, I may get inspired the wrong way. Those are all red and black, so I do the red and black, and I take only the yellow from yeah. there. Yeah, that is fine. <laughs> so, if I make the right program for health, there will not be so much of fear and anxiety regarding health. And a major problem is that I assume myself to be the body. So, that's why there is so much of fear of you know, illness and things like that. If I am able to see the body as an instrument, I will keep my body healthy naturally. And the moment I am able to see that this instrument is not going to work, fine. Isn't it? So, we can make the right program for health. So, if you look at it, this comes at the first priority. There are also our intake, daily routine and the labor. In a natural way, I can take care of all these on a daily basis. If I have to compensate for labor, I can go for exercises and if my work pattern is such that you know, the body is not able to flex properly, then I can go for postures, I can go for regulated breathing. The second resort would be this, and this is the final resort. If I am not able to ensure health through this, then only I will go for this. I do remember that in my school days, I had a friend who used to smoke. So I asked him that, why do you smoke? Your lungs will go bad. He said that I will earn so much that will get my lungs transplanted. <laughs> now if you see, Anna, earlier in a village, if a doctor used to come to somebody's house, it was a big news that a doctor has come. Now everybody has a personal doctor. Different organs, different doctors. One doctor for heart, one doctor for kidney, <laughs> one doctor for liver, one therapist for you know, psychological disorder. <laughs> Isn't it? So you have to see how we can ensure health naturally. So to sum it up, human being is coexistence of self and body. 
The needs of the body are fulfilled by physical facility. It is required in a limited quantity for nurturing the body, protecting the body, and rightly utilizing the body. Prosperity is a feeling of having or producing more than required physical facility. And for that, I have to identify the required physical facility, including the required quantity. That can be done only with right understanding. And then I can ensure availability and production of more than required with right skills. For this, you could also see that these three purposes are there for the physical facility for which I can identify it rightly, isn't it? But I disagree with this equation. Prosperity is equal to feeling of having or producing more than the required facility. You say we should not have more than the required facility, but you talk about prosperity. We all need prosperity. That means we need to have more uh, physical facility. Yeah, but how much more? For example, richness, no, the right difference between richness and prosperity. Yeah. Richness is a temporary one. It may come down or up. But prosperity will be a natural growth. Plan. But what you say is uh, something you need to accumulate physical facility more than what you require. No, not accumulate. See, for example, I'll give an example. We are going to have lunch after some time. Let's say there are 90 people sitting here. Okay. If you just assume that everyone is going to consume only this much and bring food for 90 people, somebody may have to go without food. So I will have food arrangement for 95 people, so that nobody goes without food. That is having more. That's correct. But prosperity is a continuous process. No, Over it's not. Over a period of time, it will always be prosperous. See, I am not saying it's a, it's a feeling. So for example, the child who is not earning can also feel prosperous because the parents are providing for the child. No, the equation person is in not, the old days. The equation is not exactly equation. It is a preconditioned mind that when I have, or when I feel that, uh, I feel, uh, you know, prospered. When I have a feeling that I have more than enough. When I feel I have more, I feel prosper. It is yeah, not yeah. so. It is a preconditioned mind. Yeah, yeah. So the actual thing is we need to identify the required physical quantity for what you need exactly. Uh, that's what is the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sir, we teach our students uh, at the school, India is a prosperous country. All are my as, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, so, uh, pros pro prosperous, <laughs> okay. So, prosperous, we teach them uh, because it's already we are prosperous. The country itself is prosperous. In fact, it is that way only. If you yes, see, sir. we made so many assessments. We made assessment at the level village. We made assessment at the level of district, even the nation, and we could see that the food production is more than what is required. We made an assessment in 2006 or something. At that time, uh, we could see that the population of the country was 113 crores. And the total grain production was 227 crore quintals. It means two quintals available for every person you know, uh, in the country which is more than what is required in terms of grains. That is only for the grains. So if you look at it, in India also producing double of what is required. Every rainy season, the storehouses have to throw away the grains, saying that this has been stored for three years. It is no longer of use. It will thrown in the rains. Then it will get rotten. Then liquor will be made out of it and sold. It's not that the grains are being produced less. No. The grains are there, but we are not utilizing it rightly. So there also you can see that we have more food than required. We have more clothes. We have more clothes than required. How do you define the more than required? What is the because threshold? Yeah, so that's why I know I say. No, 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 one second. You'll just say it's an individual uh, requirement. Okay, that's fine. But uh, don't you feel that everybody wants or in a comfortable zone and they still want more? A simple example, what salary is being given within the government or wherever it is, they still want more. So I'm so, saying... No, no. So there is no this thing. Nobody will say that I, whatever is my requirement, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. So when will that feeling come that, yes, I'm having more than required? When you are able to say, see the limited need for nurturing the body, protecting the body, right to the body. That want for more is because... There is lack of right understanding. No, that is with everybody, I think. Right? Isn't so that everybody will agree that... That's why we are here for. To be able to understand it rightly. To be able to understand the need of the body and need of the self separately. That's what we are discussing. Yeah. I agree with you. That's the Food production, India is self-contained. 
it like rice wheat milk and uh, banana so many fruits and everywhere we are almost number 1 or within the first five global countries but unfortunately last week you know world health organization introduced uh, just said that global hunger index we are 117 out of 125 countries even though our country says you know the way in which the statistics taken is wrong but do you agree with me or not whether our country is still you know hungry index is very bad yeah so we can see clearly that, that it is not the problem of unequal distribution that is what yeah. it points out actually it is a problem of distribution not production yeah, that's, that's, and the problem of distribution is there because there is lack of feeling of relationship i am hoarding and my relative is dying of hunger i am not able to see my relationship with the other person yeah So the self has to take care, take responsibility to continue to keep the body in harmony and for that the self has feeling of self-regulation and that essentially means I need to have the feeling of I need to have the feeling of self-regulation that is the feeling of responsibility toward the body for nurturing the body, protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body. With this feeling, I can ensure a comprehensive program for health. Consequently, the body remains in harmony, healthy, that the body acts according to me and the parts of the body are in harmony. That's yeah. Pardon? Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Nowadays, some... some yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is there. Nice.